Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woke, and I'm back with another JK The Lost video! Because today, we're gonna talk about a version update. Um, version update is 2.12, And it's got some cool stuff, and this is all before Annie stuff, so I wanted to kind of talk about it. That's gonna be today's video. As always, you can leave a like if you end up liking what we talk about. What I talk about, I guess. And you can leave a comment about your specific feelings about the things I've shown off so far. I'll say right now, it's very interesting for them to release this before the anniversary, so let's get into it and start talking about it. So here they talk about to celebrate. As always, we will get tenfold free summon. Gladly take it. Thank you. I need that. Still building up everything. So update details. Unbinding certain five dragons up to five times instead of four. Certain dragons who have been unbound to the fourth stage, previously called fully unbound, can be unbound to a fifth stage after the automatic update. Doing so will increase their level cap to 120 and improve the effects of their ability. While the first through, while the first through four stages, while the first, oh, I get it, I get it. While the first through fourth stages of a particular dragon can be unlocked using a copy of the same dragon, one with the same illustration, the fifth stage for certain five dragons can only be unlocked using certain items. A dragon maximum bond cannot be increased in its manner. The skill description of dragons eligible for the feature will be adjusted when the automatic update is applied, but the effect of the skill themselves will remain the same. So... Yeah, so it looks like it's... You start grinding up those, uh... I forget what they're called, the little dragon orby thingies? Start grinding them up from the story now, um, which is what I'm going to have to start doing because I've been ignoring it up until this point. <laughs> so I'm going to have to actually go back and get a bunch of them. Agni. So this is obviously a way for them to hopefully make some older dragons good again. Because unfortunately, just this is just the case of it. I mean, you can. it's a good thing that they're showing Agni because, to be fair, a lot of fire dragons just aren't good. A lot of them, a vast majority of them, and I think you could say the same thing about light. Um, I think at this point, a lot of early. I think water has the only still used early game dragon with Leviathan, because you could just put it on someone and it could be used as a beat stick. I think that's the case anyway. You can correct me if I'm wrong about that one, but like no one uses Agni nowadays. Like the original Agni, not especially with the rebirth and everything. So I'd be kind of interested to see what they do, um, because it'd be tough to kind of make these dudes better. But this is a way, in essence, to kind of mana spiral a dragon without calling it a mana spiral. Um, so maybe this will also mean eventually down the line they may have a 6th, 7th, and 8th one made? Who knows? Um, I also like that they are specifically saying, no, this is only for ones that can be grinded. So go and grind them. There's nothing for you to pull here. Just go do the stages. I actually really appreciate that. And they're pretty easy to do if you just remember to do them on the daily. So it's not that hard. So good update, I'd say. I'm interested to see where it's going to go. Obviously, once we see the dragons, we'll see how good it is. But for now, I'm on board. Fully level up and unlock mana nodes with Omanitsi? 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 Omanitsi. No. Omanitsa. Omakite? Omnicide. Omnicide. Uh, players who use the item called Omnicide to fully level up an adventure and fully unlock their mana nodes, including Mana Spiral. If the adventure has one, when Omnicide is used to upgrade 3 to 4, 3 or 4, the rarity will be increased to 5. Star. Omnicide cannot be used on temporary adventurers who have yet to join your party. Omnicide can be used on adventurers from raid events who join your roster permanently, but it cannot be used on said adventurers who are upgraded using convictions until the availability period of the epilogue during their raid event has passed. And here they go showing you kind of like... It's funny that they're showing you using this on the, the, the regular prince. You would never, should never do this because it's actually easier to get his mana spiral compared to a lot of other units, but whatever. And here we have them having 10, which is a lot. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what they're saying. I really don't see them making this widely available. This sounds like something like they get put on the whale shop or the store shop and then occasionally we'll get a, we'll 
be able to get one a year, maybe, if we're lucky. Because I just don't see them being... If they do it, I'd be wonderful. Because let me tell you right now, that would kind of help a whole lot with all these uh, Trial of the Mighty characters. So many of them take... They take literal months. If you're not buying the double pack or whatever, if you're not a whale in some cases, or you're not saving it and you're trying to get all of them, it takes over three months i still have not finished a single one not a single one of the original of the original mana spirals is done for me just not at all either because um they ended up being released at the same time with another character i wanted to mana spiral and so i had to focus my tree of the mighty pulls on someone else but so far not a single one of them has been made into a trial has been made a hundred mana spiral and none of them of the tree of the mighty dudes have been for me so them introducing this, depending on if it's like super abundant, then yo, I'm going to use it on just about any character that I care about and not do Trials of the Mighty. <laughs> That's just, This is what's going to happen is that I'm not going to really do Trials of the Mighty outside of Expert. And I, st I still think the rewards in Trials of the Mighty are worth doing, even if the convictions themselves are not something you want. And if anything, some people are probably already saving up three. Um, but because it's so easy to beat Expert, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, if this is an abundance, that'd be great. I would love it. But because of its effect, I think it's too good. So either what's going to happen is they're going to start releasing mana spirals like crazy, or this is just going to be slowly kind of come out to us. But we'll see how they handle it. Um, if you've got any ideas of how you think they're going to handle it, I'd love to hear it. But my current thought process is they're going to treat this just like the ingots. Ingots? The little bar thingies for weapons. So, ingots. Ingots? No. How am I mispronouncing these? Iron ingot. It's like ingot? Ingot. Ingot. The ingots, um, they're gonna be treated like that, so it's gonna be actually very rare and, um, chances are we'll be able to buy one. But I do think for anniversary we would likely get one free, just because it's anniversary and they could be like, hello, all people who are, for uh, for returning players, more people who are playing and for new players, we're giving away one of these as the final login, and you can fully do blah 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 and stuff like that. So I think it's likely we see one for anniversary, but that's my current thoughts on this. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, next we've got, oops, let me go here. Collect more materials with improved drop rates. The rate in which certain materials drop from enemies in Void Battle, the Imperial Onslaught, Beginner Standard Expert Master, Advanced Dragon Trials, Prelude Standard Expert Master, and the Aegido Uprising Standard Expert Master in both solo and co-op play will be increased so that weapons that use materials from these quests can be crafted, upgraded more quickly. This increase will vary from quest to quest. This means I can finally fucking finish the Agito Uprising for Light way quicker. <laughs> and this is a significant change too. If you look here, it goes from a 6 to freaking 120. That's crazy. So I'm excited to see how how this affects Agito. I think actually it will be a small increase in Agito. But if they make it 10 times easier for me to do stuff, oh my god, thank you so much. Because I would, it's honestly been holding me back, is that my light team just is always going to suck. And so any f going forward uh, Sinister Dominions, I'm actually super lacking in light units. So I never want to do any of the specific quests that require light units, because I'm always like, eh, I don't want to do them, because I can never build them, and the build-up for it just takes so long, because that boss sucks so much. The boss, oh my god, I could complain all day, all night for it. If they remove that boss completely and his stupid mechanic, if they actually just remove the mechanic that makes you deal less damage, I think I would have no problem with that fight at all, and you could just grind it. I think it's a very, very bad... I don't mind the, the gate stuff, um... What I do mind is the fact that you only deal 9 damage unless you do some very funky fucking things. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Either way, this is a good update for me. I'm gonna give that a positive. So what's uh, loadouts will work best in co-op with suggested teams? So... Suggested teams is a feature that allows players to browse and copy team loadouts of others that have successfully cleared certain quests. Um, will support a selection of co-op quests. There we go. So just like everything else. Co-op, so just a team. That might help with some cheese strats, actually, now that I think about it. But maybe some newer players would still be confused, but... Hmm. 
we'll see how that works out. Other changes, the title screen will display a third anniversary illustration after the version 2.12 update is released until 10... Wow, until October 25th? Okay. That's a long time. The background music track anniversary will be available from 9.26 to the 25th. In the system under options in the menu, cool, I love hearing anniversary during the anniversary. Third anniversary stickers will be out on the 26th. Third anniversary voice lines will be available from the 26th to the 25th. There you go. And that is what we got for Dragalia Lost so far. Still no word on a digest, but at least we get a app update of some kind. And then we will see what they, a version update before it. So we'll see what we have in store. Now, they said here that the anniversary starts on the 27th, from what I remember. Let me see. Go all the way back here. Mm -hmm. Jesus, this month in Dragalia takes forever so long. So let's see, future updates. Dragalia welcomes its third anniversary on the 27th, so a day before the anniversary is when we will be getting that. And then further detail will be provided in a Dragalia Digest in late September. Let's see, how many days of September do we have left? Not many, so... I think there's 13 days left, depending on when you see this video. So we'll see what they plan. But for now, I really like what they're doing with some additions. I'm excited to see what's going on for the anniversary. I'm almost done saving, so that's also very nice. So very soon I'll be able to see what some stuff I'm going to be looking forward to in the future and deciding which one is going to get my potential sparking because I only have enough for one sparking this year. So let's see how that works out. Maybe I'll get lucky, but I doubt it based off of my current luck. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can leave a like. Comment, tell me about any of the things we talked about, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.